You are not. You're not a woman. You don't look like a woman. You don't act like a woman. Aberdeen Councilwoman Tiesa Meskius confronted owner Don Suker about a sign he posted in his store saying, if you are born with a slang for a male body part, you are not a chick. That sign was still visible today. And everybody's loved it. Everybody's taken pictures of it. Everybody laughs. Everybody. Not everybody loved it, as we saw. Well, yeah. yeah. And some people think it's hurtful. Well, you told us that this hurt. But here's the thing. I don't give a about feelings anymore. What he wrote there was so demeaning and so dismissive of who I am and who any trans woman is. I'm 70 am eight. I went to Vietnam to fight for all this. Do you think I care about some feelings? Absolutely not. What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from the quarter. I hope you're having a wonderful Friday. It looks like things are heating up for an elderly Star Wars store owner. Uh, as more details have come forth, it would appear that this um, customer was, in fact, a city council member uh, coordinating uh, this to harass a Star Wars shop owner. Uh, shop owners having none of it. Uh, clearly a planned attack by a radical city council member. On top of that, now the super soldiers of Antiva are going to ascend upon this man's shop. Uh, I worry for him. I worry about his safety. I worry about um, his future, his mental health, his family, because we see how this stuff goes. This is a coordinated attack on an elderly man. Um for internet clout. I don't think this makes the trans community look good. I don't think this does literally anything good for the trans community. So what you have, in my opinion, is a transgender city council member who is actively sabotaging the trans community. Here we have a nice collection of tweets assembled by Yo Boy Data Racer. Trans rights activists have already scheduled a, quote, protest this Saturday. They doxed the store owner and encouraging, quote, creative acts of resistance. The sign may be offensive, but city council members encouraging property damage is vile. You could see this troll account, too, talking about how they used to work for him and they're, they're making up stories that he touched his employees and all this have never happened. Um, it's actually insane. We'll be out to support, you know, I guess here's the sign. Okay. I didn't see, I hadn't seen the sign yesterday, but I'll, I see it now. It says just out Dr. Seuss's new book, quote, if you are born with a, with a piece, you are not a chick period. This new release is out now became the cancel culture band. It's earlier books. Wait. This new release is out now because the cancel culture banned his early books. That's it. That's the sign that is going to cost this dude uh, his business and livelihood. And maybe worse. I am genuinely concerned. We already have numerous crap article sci-fi store owner gets angry at masked trans person for logging in store what no this masked trans person set this whole thing up as a publicity stunt to try and ruin a war veteran's life not very tolerant are you i just what good does this do your community you don't do this. I want to be very clear here. And I know not all my viewers agree. And that's okay. But my position remains unchanged. If the way you choose to live your life does not infringe on my rights or put anyone else in danger, go ahead. I couldn't care less. All right? But that's not 
what's happening here. This person is no friend of the trans community. I guess neither of these people are. But the one on the left is actively doing harm. Because, let's be honest, John, Joe Sixpack and, and Mary, Mary uh, I don't know, Quilter? I don't know. They see this as something they don't understand, but they certainly they see a war veteran being accosted by people. They're going to see these losers uh, ruin his business, do damage to it. Now, again, nothing about this is good. And now we have local news picking it up. Transgender city councilman confronts Aberdeen store owner over a controversial sign. I don't, I think if the comment section was open here, people would be calling this guy an absolute king. You can see Elijah here with a quote. I'm going to play it even though, like, even though it has some light language in it. The news showed up at his shop, and here's what he had to say. And some people think it's hurtful. Well, he told us that this hurt. But here's the thing. I don't give a about feelings anymore. I'm 70 m 8. I went to Vietnam to fight for all this. Do you think I care about some feelings? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Now, there, of course, everybody in the media is framing this. You know, Meskis accused the guy of being a bigot and posted cell phone video of her confronting him inside the store on Wednesday. In a video in which Sucker asked her to leave, she did, but the two continued yelling at each other outside. Uh, yeah. Except now we have... Here you can see any no posting... An elderly business owner in Aberdeen, Washington, was confronted by a trans councilwoman uh, over the sign that she found offensive. She and Antifa group have announced a, quote, direct action outside the shop on the 7th of August. That's tomorrow at 10 a.m. Aberdeen, Washington council member, you can see here, formerly known as whatever, I'm not going to dead name people, uh, and Antifa group have announced a direct action at the Star Wars shop to oppose the 78-year-old man who told her to her face that she's not a woman. Now, I would never, like, give him a ring, stop by, let him know what you think of his actions, let Google know, Yelp, TripAdvisor. Let's actually check in on that. Like, I want to check in on that. It's, um... Let's see. Let's see how the reviews are going. A day ago, the owner of this shop is a kind-hearted pillar of our community. Recently, a man dressed in drag went into his shop looking for a fight, and now his online friends are leaving negative reviews for no reason. Okay. Um, a place of wonder. Five star. Five star. Awesome store. Five out of five. God bless this man for standing up for truth in a world of lies. Super service. Would recommend to friends and family. Cool little shop for all things Star Wars. These are like, he's actually getting positive, positively review brigaded. Except this loser. One star. Local guide. Bravo. Love to see it. You know, five star. Awesome store. Awesome experience. We'll go back there again. Of course, none of these people have actually been there. Um, but uh, just overwhelmingly five star reviews. Terrible customer service and full of hate. Mm, okay. It would seem a true patriot, a great business to support. Uh, owner is based. Store has amazing quality items. I, I love to see it. I love to see the overwhelming five-star reviews. It's just another like epic backfire about this whole thing. Uh, it's, it's frustrating because, of course, nobody in the media is portraying this as exactly what it is. Because what it is is a coordinated attack on an elderly man. Um, look, this is like a microcosm of the whole um, H.P. Lovecraft garbage, right? Modern leftists 
find themselves appalled that a man who lived 200 years ago might have some backwards opinions about black people. Uh, here we have a 80 year old war vet. Okay. This dude served his country. I'm fine with him. Uh, uh, not being up on the latest woke rhetoric. All right. This guy has done more for this country, uh, than most of us could dream of. Dude just wants to sell his Star Wars memorabilia in a shop and some loser uh, is going to try and ruin that. So, you know, I'm going to leave up, make sure I leave a positive review on his business. Uh, they're planning to go down there and harass him on Saturday. You know, I hope the community, I want to be careful how I word this because, you know, I don't want to encourage any bad behavior, but I hope the community will come around and protect his business from bad actors. If somebody that this group wants to peacefully protest outside of his business, they're welcome to do so. But if they start ruining things or breaking windows or damaging his property or harassing his customers, I think that's beyond the pale. And my heart goes out to him. You know, he may have some old timey opinions when we look through, look at it through the modern lens, but the dude is 90 years old. All right. Like give it a rest. All right. He's not hurting anybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this city council member gets voted out and we'll talk to you again real soon.